Hello, this is Annalisa at HyperArts Web Design and Development, and this video tutorial is going to show you how to use Facebook as your Facebook page. When you go to Facebook.com, you need to log in using an email and a password. Now, ideally, Facebook hopes that you're using Facebook in your personal life and that you log in to your personal profile. It's actually against Facebook's terms of service to use a fake profile to manage your business page. But there are some ways around this. People do it anyways, and you can use a business account. But if you want the most robust Facebook experience, it's recommended that you use your personal profile to admin your Facebook pages. So I'm going to log in with my password and email. And I'm automatically directed to my newsfeed. When I come to the HyperArts web design page that I admin, I can write on the wall, share photos, links, everything as HyperArts. I can like other pages on Facebook as HyperArts, which is what you see down here in the featured like section of your page. But in order to do so, when I visit the page that I want to like, we'll just use pop chips as an example, Instead of clicking the like button, which would make me like the page as Annalisa, you scroll down to the bottom and I can click this link that says add to my pages favorites. And when I do that, if you manage multiple pages, you'll see this drop down menu. I have to pick add to the favorites for HyperArts web design and click save. So now Pop Chips is one of the favorite pages of HyperArts web design page. Right now, if I click here on the Facebook link, I see a news feed of all of my friends and pages that I've liked, but I don't see a news feed of the status updates and shared links of the pages that I follow as HyperArts. So, Facebook recently came out with a way to work around this problem. Over here in the right hand column underneath the admin section of your page, there's a link that says use Facebook as your page name. And when you click that link, Facebook essentially changes. Now when I go up here and click on the Facebook home button, I see a news feed of all of the pages that I've favorited as HyperArts. I can actually comment on these posts by other pages as HyperArts. You can see here the HyperArts logo shows up, not Annalisa's profile picture. If another page has shared a link, I can in turn share that on the HyperArts page and add my own comment. I'll show you an example of this. Just today, I shared this post by Simply Zesty on our Facebook page. It's a great way to promote other businesses and organizations in your field and take advantage of all the great content that they're sharing and share that with your audience as well. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and I hope you find new and interesting ways to use this Facebook feature on your own page. Feel free to leave comments, questions, ideas on our Facebook page. And if you want more tutorials, tips, news about Facebook, and other interesting marketing ideas, you can visit our blog at hyperarts.com forward slash blog. Thanks for watching.